Consuming too much sugar will undoubtedly destroy your health. That's why you must know the top warning signs that will help you determine if you have way too much sugar in your diet. Hey, Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Zorowski, and there's no doubt that sugar is correlated with disease. The more sugar that you consume, the more likelihood that you'll have some sort of health condition at some point in your life. So we always wanna make sure that we're, of course, decreasing the amount of sugar in our diet, maybe even going sugar-free. But we also want to know some of the warning signs that will help us determine if, hey, things aren't good right now because there's too much sugar. The first one we have to watch out for is acne. If you're struggling with acne, then there's a good likelihood you have too much sugar in your diet. Essentially what happens is that as you get these insulin spikes, your skin will produce more oil and you're gonna be more prone to getting clogged pores. So instead of taking something like Accutane, which is essentially poison, that medicine basically that stops acne, instead of taking something like that, you can change your diet. We'll talk in just a second how it also is correlated with your gut health and it has something to do with sugar. Now, next is if you have increased hunger and weight gain. Now, as you consume more sugar, you essentially find yourself having more cravings, meaning that you wanna eat more throughout the day, okay? So you have more hunger, right? And then also, because you are not getting your proper nutrition, right? If you consume sugar, that's empty calories. That's not good nutrition. So because your body's actually lacking the nutrition it needs, your body keeps giving you hunger signals. Now, the other thing that's gonna happen is that you're gonna start gaining weight, okay? If you just notice, hey, I, I keep gaining weight. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything right, but I'm continuing to gain weight. Are you spiking your blood sugar? Are you spiking your insulin? And just because you had little bits of sugar one day and maybe no sugar another, and then a whole lot on the weekends because you just went totally off the rails, that is enough to mess you up for the entire week, okay? We have to make sure that we're careful. Depending on your body's level of insulin sensitivity, you may find yourself in a position where you could have almost none, right? If you have insulin resistance, then a little bit of sugar can really mess you up. So hunger and weight gain. Now let's look to irritability. You know, if you have anxiety, if you suffer from depression, if you have mood swings throughout the day, just cut sugar out of your diet. Because here's the thing, is if you were to cut sugar out, and let's say you followed something like a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet, or just one of those sugar-free diets, essentially what you would find is that your mood just balances out, right? You don't have these extreme highs and lows. And the extreme highs and lows that you typically face are gonna be associated with your blood sugar. You're hypoglycemic one hour, you're hyperglycemic the next hour, and your mood goes with it. So therefore, if you're getting really bad mood patterns, try going sugar-free and see how that helps, okay? Next is gonna be fatigue and low energy, okay? The reason we end up with fatigue and low energy when we're consuming too much sugar is because we are creating unsustainable energy sources for our body. So for instance, if you're following that ketogenic diet, that you know sugar-free, high fat, moderate protein type of diet, you're gonna find that your body will actually tap into its fat sources for energy. It's sustainable, it's long lasting, it's smooth energy, and it will last you all day. However, when you're on the sugar burning system for energy, essentially what you'll find is that, hey, with sugar, we got lots of energy, but when the sugar crashes, we have none, okay? So if your energy's all over the place and crashing all the time, we definitely wanna look to cutting sugar out because your sugar consumption is too great. Next is gonna be high blood pressure, okay? As I mentioned, if you are consuming a lot of sugar, essentially you're gonna find yourself in a position where you're developing all kinds of health problems for yourself. So not only are we gonna get like insulin resistance and high cholesterol and fatty liver, we're also gonna get things like high blood pressure because when the liver isn't functioning well and the kidneys aren't functioning well, then you're gonna have basically the whole homeostatic system within your body that's designed to create balance is gonna be thrown off. Therefore, there goes your blood pressure. So cut sugar out. And another thing that helps really well with blood pressure is things like intermittent fasting, which is also gonna drive your blood sugar down. Now, joint pain's another big one. If you're having a lot of joint pain, try going sugar-free. One of the things that happens when you consume a lot of sugar, it will feed the inflammatory problem in your body. And if you're having a little bit of an immune response of some sort, like an autoimmune response, then it's only going to further that inflammatory problem as you're consuming all that sugar. So 
If you have joint pain, if you wake up in the morning and you're really stiff and you know you go to bed at night and you're stiff and your joints are stiff all the time, cut out sugar and see how you improve. I guarantee you, you'll find improvement there. Sleep issues is another big one. Now, one of the main reasons that you're gonna find that your sleep is disrupted from consuming too much sugar is simply because you'll end up with hyperglycemic and hypoglycemic patterns, okay? As you are going through these highs and lows with your blood sugar, it will also happen in your sleep. So therefore, what you'll find is that you may go to sleep and you're all you know, high on that sugar, and then your body has blood sugar crashes somewhere in the middle of the night. It wakes you up, right? It wakes you up and then you can't find yourself going, being able to go back to sleep. So what you wanna do is first of all, focus on cutting sugar out, but also another tip that you can do to improve your sleep. If this is the case, if you're having a blood sugar crash in the middle of the night that's messing up your sleep, is consume a protein shake before bed. And therefore, like I, said earlier, you'll have those pro proper macronutrients and it'll help stabilize your blood sugar throughout the night. So give that a try. Next is gonna be brain fog, okay? As you consume a lot of sugar, it affects your brain. It affects the, the neurotransmitters in your brain, which are like hormones within your brain that are giving you positive mood and bad mood signals, but also it's going to affect sugar, it's going to affect the inflammation in your brain. And when you have a lot of inflammation within your brain, it creates a lot of memory issues and brain fog. So cut out sugar to lower inflammation in your brain and also improve your energy so that you can actually think clearly and have good focus. So if your focus isn't good, concentration isn't good, memory isn't good, then focus on decreasing your sugar because you probably have too much of it in your diet. On our list next is gonna be digestive issues, okay? Now this is really interesting and I talked about acne earlier and now we're talking about digestive issues. So essentially what happens when you start consuming a diet that's high in sugar, you completely change your gut bacteria. And as you change your gut bacteria, it can cause a lot of turmoil within your gut. You can have bacterial overgrowth because you're consuming too much sugar. You can have all types of digestive issues that start to present. As you have these digestive issues present, you're more likely to have acne, okay? But here's something that's very interesting. When you're consuming a bad diet, you basically completely create a new order of bacteria within your gut. And that new bacteria now likes high sugar, high carb diets that are going to send you with a ton of cravings until you change your diet. And the hard part is, is that when you go to change your diet and go sugar free, all of those bacteria in there that are used to just living on all that sugar, well, they have to die off. And then you're gonna have to have a whole new set of bacteria that basically starts to build up in order to eat this healthier and more nutritious diet. But when these ones are dying off, oh my gosh, they send signals to your brain saying, hey, we're dying here, we need more sugar, and it causes a lot of havoc, okay? so you create a huge bacterial issue if you are eating a really high sugar diet. And so what we wanna do is come off of that. And the other thing too is if you have problems like yeast overgrowth in your gut, if you have parasites, they feed very well on sugar. You cut off that sugar supply and you start to kill them off, okay? So think of it this way. A lot of sugar feeds pathogens within your gut if you're eating a healthy diet, you're not gonna have all those pathogens. So it's a good thing to make sure that if you care about your digestive health, which you should, that you are cutting out sugar. And if you have a lot of digestive issues presenting, then cut out sugar. It's a sign, there's, there's just too much in your diet. Constantly craving sugar, okay? We talked about this a little bit as we mentioned your brain and as we mentioned your gut bacteria, but you basically create a system in your body that thrives off sugar. Your brain is thriving off sugar. Your gut bacteria is thriving off sugar. So when you don't have it, you crave it, right? And sugar, you've probably seen this before, sugar acts like a drug to your brain. And it lights up different areas of your brain which send signals saying, hey, we need more sugar, okay? And then you have more weight gain, you have worse concentration, and all the different things that we talked about, more acne, I mean, more hunger, all the things we talked about, 
it gets worse, okay? And then unfortunately, you have this system in your body just saying, we need more of this. So your health is declining, your body's saying, give me more of that. It's almost like your body is telling you that we need to do the thing that is destroying us. And here's the deal is you have to have the willpower to break through that. It's not easy, right? And I, I tell patients this all the time. It's like, look, you're struggling with this. I understand that it's not easy, but here's the thing is it's normal for it to not be easy because you have a lot of forces working against you when you go in and, and try to come off sugar. And people tell me all the time, it's impossible. It's the only thing I enjoy. I love sugar, right? Well, it's not impossible. It's actually quite easy if you know how to do it correctly. What you have to do is you have to, first of all, get rid of all the sugar, okay? Come off of it, but then find those lateral shifts, okay? It doesn't mean you can't ever have anything sweet. You have to look to those natural sweeteners, sweeteners found in nature that don't raise your blood sugar. And there's a bunch of them out there. There's monk fruit, there's stevia, there's erythritol, there is xylitol, and there also is allulose, okay? Those are all really good natural sweeteners that you can use instead of sugar. And in fact, allulose, which is kind of one of the newest ones on the market that everybody's talking about, it actually will lower your blood sugar when you consume it. And it doesn't have the taste either. So some people say, well, monk fruit or stevia has this weird taste to it. Allulose doesn't have that. So it's a really good option for somebody who's trying to cut out sugar. So if you notice that you're having these different signs and symptoms, these warning signs that you are consuming too much sugar, cut it out. It will improve your life greatly. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I think you'll really like this one over here next.